The personal statement is a crucial part of the university application process. And unlike admission exams or interviews, it is mandatory, regardless of the schools you are applying to. Admission tutors read hundreds, if not thousands, of personal statements every year. So you need to make sure your stands out set you apart from the rest of the candidates. But this doesn't have to frighten you at all, since we are talking about a personal statement, so it only needs to reflect your own voice, your personality and your passions. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna Roman and I'm going to study mathematics at the University of Oxford beginning this October. Around this time last year I was in the process of writing my own personal statement and let me tell you it was a whole journey. From seeking advice from everyone around me to feeling stuck while looking at a blank paper and then exceeding the world limit by far, it took me really long to finally come up with its final version. So in this video I will do my best to help you write a killer personal statement and to get you out of a possible writing slump that you might be having. If you haven't watched my previous video on general tips on how to get into the University of Oxford, you can do that by clicking on the link in the upper right corner. So make sure um, you check that out because there I talk uh, a little bit more and in depth about the structure of uh, a good personal statement and um, about the interview and the admission exam. But if you are tired of hearing tips about personal statements and want to directly hear my own, you can skip to the timestamp that's currently on the screen and in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get started. The most important thing that you need to do before even beginning to write your personal statement is to do your research. Research all the universities you want to apply to and their courses. The dumbest mistake you could make is to write about stuff that isn't related to your course. Um, so choose them wisely and make sure that you really want to major in that particular field. Also, by looking up the university's website, decide if your personal statement needs to focus more on academics or extracurriculars. For example, for universities like Oxford and Cambridge, um, the personal statement is recommended to be at least 70% academic because uh, that's why, what they are mostly interested in. Personally, I applied to Oxford, Imperial College, UCL, Warwick and Manchester, so I decided that my personal statement needs to focus on academics rather than extracurriculars. Uh, I have structured my essay into six paragraphs. So I had uh, the introduction, then a part where I talked about my biggest accomplishments and how they have affected my uh, personality and mindset, uh, mainly an action effect type of thing. Then my third and uh, fourth paragraph shown some activities that I did that were related to my uh, field of study, which uh, is mathematics, and that I thought were unique and could somehow set me apart from the rest of the candidates. Then in the fifth paragraph, I uh, wrote um, a little bit, uh, really briefly, about uh, the extracurricular activities I did uh, throughout high school. And finally, I had a short conclusion. The next important thing that you should bear in mind is to avoid cliches. For example, avoid using phrases like for as long as I can remember I wanted to be a mathematician or when I was a kid, you get the point. Um, they are way overused and uh, the tutors or professors reading your essay want to hear your own voice, not the one of thousands of other students. So be original and find, find things about yourself that you think are different. Um, and this actually brings me to my next tip which is to brainstorm as many ideas as possible. Before writing my personal statement, I have created a Word document where I just uh, listed all the activities, competitions, recent reads and awards related to mathematics, and I tried to find some common ground between them so I could correlate them into some paragraphs. This whole personal statement thing is so much about organization since you are only given 4,000 characters and you basically need to tell them all about yourself in only a bit over 600 words. Many students decide to ask their teachers to correct their personal statements and give them some feedback regarding what they have written. I personally didn't show my personal statement to anyone, including my teachers or friends. I made as many drafts as possible and I kept reading um, the personal statement over and over and correcting until I was finally happy with what I had in there. Of course, I asked for advice before writing my personal statement and that's something I highly recommend. If you choose to show your work to someone else, um, just make sure that you don't get way too many um, different opinions on it, because otherwise you're going to be really confused. 
well um i guess we can now move on to the next part which is reading my own personal statement i have it right here with me so let's begin the word mathematics has always had a specific charm for me when i think about my passion for this subject i realize it all comes down to my personality and mindset being an analytical and rational person who strives to absorb and create new ideas, I've always been fascinated by the limitless possibilities solving a single mathematical problem gives someone. Mathematics allows me to be myself by helping me release my unconve unconventional yet creative ideas into the world. Last year, I qualified to be a member of Romania's national team for the European Girls Mathematical Olympiad. This result came after six years of participating at the National Mathematical Olympiad where I've once been awarded a silver medal and three times the bronze medal. I've been invited to an interregional symposium in order to present the unique solutions I found for the problems proposed at the National Olympiad in front of all the maths teachers and professors from Transylvania. Throughout my high school years, I've constantly participated at regional and interregional competition, competitions, such as the Grigori Moisir contest, um, where I won the gold medal achieving a perfect score. My experience with the Olympiads made my intellectual curiosity raise um, way, way above the level of the classroom and developed my ability to work and think independently. I discovered the opportunities that um, transdisciplinarity offers by participating every year at the Math and Genes um, International Conferences. I presented and published my own scientific research papers on various subjects that linked maths, computer science and physics. This allowed me to develop my teamwork and public speaking skills, as well as made me realize that I further want to study the practical applications of mathematics through computer science. I have studied a variety of books and articles of mathematical nature, which allowed me to expand my knowledge beyond the textbooks. Always aiming to create something original, I've, pro I've proposed my own problems and published articles in mathematical magazines. I decided to study abroad because I'm fascinated by multicultural experiences. This summer, I was the only one in my nation invited to represent Romania at the Global Young Leaders Conference in the USA. This experience provided me with a better understanding of myself and others, made me aware of the current challenges the world is facing today and how to solve them, gave me a strong confidence boost and uh, shaped my communication and leadership skills. I'm also a member of the European Youth Parliament and I've participated at regional conferences where I was involved in several debates and crafted resolutions on the problems the European Union is concerned about. Despite the fact that math is my main passion, I'm a well-rounded student. Playing tennis since eight years old made me learn how to cope under pressure. Fitness is a huge part of my life. I've started when I was 14 years old and this summer I've got my license as an instructor. Training gives me freedom and the power to inspire, inspire other people. Encouraging my class to always push their limits energizes and invigorates me in a way nothing else does. I have even created and managed the website for the fitness studio where I work. I've been playing, I've been, sorry. I've been playing the, the piano since middle school and I've been awarded first prizes at both international and national competitions. Through these activities, I have found a way to make mathematics come alive for me in ways that I'm personally interested in. My ambition has always been to help others. During high school, I volunteered at the Red Cross and the Hans Linder Foundation, where we've organized charity events. I'm looking forward to the new opportunities of personal growth that universities offer. I want to enlarge uh, both my mathematical and leadership horizons, as well as make new friends. I strongly believe that my accomplishments and my drive and perseverance to continue accomplishing have and will lead me to success. So that's that, nothing too fancy, nothing too metaphorical, just uh, the way I see mathematics and uh, my accomplishments, I guess. Things being said, that's pretty much all I had to tell you about the personal statement. I wish you good luck writing yours and uh, lots of inspiration. I will link some other videos I found helpful uh, in the process of writing my essay down in the description below, so you can also check those out, hopefully they will help you. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, follow me on Instagram, here is my account on the screen. And if you have any video suggestions or questions, please leave them down in the comment section or just slide into my DMs. Have a nice day and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.